the Austin Film Festival returns this October. And today the organization revealed the first wave of films being featured this year. So they include Goodnight Oppie, which is a story of opportunity about the rover sent to Mars for a 90 day mission and surviving on the red planet for 15 years. Another one is the Song of the Cicada, and this one follows a mort mortician in Galveston chronicling his daily life with friends and families over the course of a decade. Our very own Britt Moreno is now with Barbara Morgan, the executive director of the Austin Film Festival. Britt, very exciting announcements. Take it away. It is exciting. Jen, thank you so much. And Barbara Morgan is also the co-founder of the Austin Film Festival, which was founded in 1993. So we're going to talk all about your 29th anniversary coming up here in a moment. But today we're getting our first look, just as Jen was mentioning, of these films that are debuting right here in Austin. And we can only imagine that, you know, they have to be packing some star power. So tell us a little bit about the big names that will be coming along with these films to Austin. Well, so in the first wave, we're talking about some of the um, big premieres that are going to be kind of the Paramount Fair downtown, Women Talking, which is um, directed by Sarah Polly, written by Sarah Polly, and she's going to be coming in with it with Dee Dee Gardner, who produced it. And Dee Dee is an awardee of ours this year for, um, for producing. So very exciting to be having that film. It's a big fall film. Definitely in the slate of uh, out there for awardee consideration, right? Um, and Nanny, which is another really exciting one we're showing that was an award winner at Sundance. And here we see um, some video of that. Yeah, this is a trailer from Nanny. It's a great, you know, in the new age of horror films, really kind of social horror. And and that is another awardee of ours, Nikki Atujusu, is going to be here with that film. It stars Michelle Monaghan and Morgan Spector. And, um, so then we have a whole lot of cicadas was mentioned here, uh, which are our Texas local, film, Texas film, local filmmakers, the um, Weisses or cousins, and they are old Austin folks, and oh, they cool. have a, a film about this Galveston mortician, a documentary that's awesome. Oh so. my goodness! There are two new things happening this year. Mm -hmm. One is gaming, mm -hmm. and one is another uplifting storytelling initiative. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little about a little bit about these new endeavors. Yeah, so gaming is something we're getting into as far as writing. We're a writer's festival, and uh -huh. this is really the aspects of writing that are how that game gets created. And so we're entering into that territory, and we have a number of panels that are going to be on that. The conference goes along with the films, and then the Uplifting Storytellers is really our initiative for for leveling the playing field for mm -hmm. people breaking into writing. And we do, you know, we have panels, we have representation in those panels that are really trying to open this up to a lot of folks. We're doing some content in Six Square, um, which is the area right off downtown. Mm -hmm. That's a, um, actually where the festival is. And so, so we're really trying to encourage filmmakers of all kinds to be breaking in and telling their stories. The idea to get more diversity. Yes, more diversity, yep. That is so fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, 29 years, congratulations mm -hmm. on this. 30 years will be next year. That'll be a big moment, I'm sure, for y'all. When you think back to those early stages of the Austin Film Festival, <laughs> I see your eyes kind of go yeah. back to that time. What's going through your mind? How have y'all evolved? Uh, you know, I think one of the things we did was stay really true to our mission, which was writing. And where that's evolved is there's a big community of indie filmmakers here now. And there's so many of us, um, you know, so many festivals around here that support that. And we feel like that's something that we've also been a part of that growth and helping to make this town really seen as a creative space for right. people. Um, and also just you know, all the people that have come in over the years, we've been able to really put that material out there and wave the flag as far as storytellers. And really quickly before we go, mm -hmm. when people buy a ticket to the Austin mm -hmm. Film Festival, where do the proceeds go? Well, we're a 501c3, and we have a number of different programs, though, that some of those proceeds go to. Some things support our Young Filmmakers Program, which is mm -hmm. um, writing programs all over the Austin area and in high schools. And and some of it just goes to the festival as a 501c3 that supports um, the arts community here. So important. So, yeah. so wonderful. And Austin is such an artistic town. So we appreciate you for being here today, Barbara. And Thanks, of course, okay. we welcome everybody to come on down to the Austin Film Festival. Jen, we'll send it back to you. I know you have all the deeds for us. Yes. All right, Barbara and Britt, thank you so much. The complete list of festival programming, including so many films as well as hundreds of panels, will be announced soon. But over over on KXAN.com, we have more details on how to get badges as well as passes.